the block where I grew up. And you see that window over there? That is the kitchen where my mom taught me to cook. Today, I'm gonna make mommy a wonderful, beautiful birthday brunch. I'm starting off with crispy, crunchy churros dusted with cinnamon sugar. Then, eggs a la paloma, an egg casserole with sauteed chorizo, buttery avocado, Oaxaca cheese, and a tangy tomato sauce. And finally, my own spin on a Mexican standard, unfried, refried beans. Today's my mom's birthday, and you know, I love her. She's a great cook, but she can't bake worth a spit. So whenever I get a chance to make her a little pastries or something like that, I jump on it. I'm gonna make her Mexican churros. Mexican churros are basically crispy little crellers flavored with cinnamon sugar, and they're just so great any time of day. I had great churros when I went to Mexico with my family. And what I like to do when I travel is come home and, you know, recreate those recipes. So. I have a cup of water here that I'm going to set, medium-high heat. I'm going to add four tablespoons of unsalted butter, add a teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Let the butter melt and the sugar melt. Let's get a cup of flour ready. This is now coming to the boil. I'm just gonna lower the heat on this a little bit. The butter's just about gone. This smells so pretty already. The brown sugar and the vanilla are just creating an incredible fragrance. So now that our butter is melted, add the flour all at once. Just drop it in. And we're gonna work that flour in with our wooden spoon. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I don't want like chunks of flour in there. Work it, work it, work it, work it. And the dough's gonna pull away and start slapping around. Really work that flour so you don't have any raw flour left in your dough. Isn't that pretty? And it's even gonna get glossier than that. The dough will take between four and five eggs. This is a good upper body workout. This is basically cream puff batter. Well, the fancy schmancy name for it is shoe paste. The dough has to drink the egg one at a time. So we're gonna go for the next one. You wanna do this fairly quickly because the pot is retaining some heat. You don't wanna end up with scrambled eggs. That would be like, yuck. Notice that it's not drinking as fast anymore. Now I really have to give this some elbow grease. Now it's gone. Egg number four. In my neighborhood on Sundays, we have Mexican ladies that sell churros and tamales by the church. And you can buy hot chocolate. It's so much fun. Watch this. When you lift your spoon, you see how the dough gives you a little hook? I'm very happy with that dough. So I'm not going to give it the five eggs. I'm going to go with the four. I just want to clean up my space a little bit. I have some canola oil and a cast iron skillet that really, really holds heat well, so it's great for like deep frying. Add some canola oil, which has a very high smoke point. We don't want these churros sitting in cold oil. We want nice, light, crisp churros. Okay, so we'll let that oil come up to speed, and in the meantime, I'm gonna get my pastry bag ready. And if you don't have one of these pastry bags at home, you could use a, um, a Ziploc. Cut the tip off and you can work the dough out like that. That works fine with my rubber spatula. I don't wanna waste one little bit. Okay, so I have my pastry bag. Work the dough into the bag. So I'm going to squeeze the dough down the bag. And what I like to do is just twist the bag in one hand so that I have control, okay? And the way that I like to check my oil, wooden spoon, Oh, wow, that is a happy bubble. See that? That means it's nice and hot. Okay, I think it's time to make some churros. Let's try this out. We're gonna lay the dough out and stop and twist. A little pressure. Stop and twist. A little pressure. Stop and twist. 
and you're gonna see them turn crispy brown. And once you see them do that, we're going to flip them over. I just want them to get nice and crispy. I have this on low heat, but the cast iron itself gets so hot that it keeps the oil nice and hot, even when you add the cold dough. Let's turn that over. Look at that color. Beautiful. And they're light. They're actually floating in the oil. You can hear the oil slowing down when they're almost done. And they're light as a feather. Look how pretty that looks. I'm thinking I could eat three churros by myself. <laughs> okay, with a regular paper bag, I'm gonna make a little cinnamon sugar. Plain white sugar, about a cup. And I'm gonna say, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Shake it up. Mmm, it smells pretty in there. And we can just toss these right in the cinnamon sugar. I'm gonna sacrifice this churro. Mmm, gosh, is that good. This is going to make a great start to our birthday brunch. But what really makes this day special is our layered egg casserole, eggs a la paloma, served with a light version of refried beans. Today, she's a food expert. That is what you're going for. He's a tech wizard. Just email. Noah will take care of it. But what is the key to making a successful roast chicken? Together, they tackle your cooking questions. I love it. Keep them coming in. In a single bite. I've got a solution for you. Wow. That is so good. Aida Mullenkamp is your problem solver in the kitchen. Let me talk you through it. Super delicious. Mess. Ask Aida. All new episode today at 12.30, 11.30 Central on Food Network. Pretty fabulous. This is a Honda Pilot. And this is the all-new Chevy Traverse. It has more cargo space than Pilot. And Traverse beats Honda on highway gas mileage, too. More fuel efficient and 25% more room. Maybe Traverse can carry that stuff, too. The all-new Chevy Traverse, America's best crossover. Now current GM owners can buy the Chevy Traverse 1LT for under $28.8 after all offers. This is how meningococcal meningitis can look, just 24 hours before it claims a child's life. Meningitis can be spread by certain common activities. A sip. A first kiss. Its symptoms may seem like the flu, but in a single day, a life can be lost. Ask your doctor about Minactra, the vaccine that can lower the chance of getting meningitis. Like all vaccines, Minactra may not protect all individuals. Minactra's most common side effects are temporary injection site pain, redness and swelling, headache and fatigue. Minactra should be avoided by persons with severe allergic reaction to any ingredient of the vaccine, including latex or anyone with a history of Guillain-Barre syndrome. There is a potential for an increased chance of Guillain-Barre syndrome following vaccination. Talk to your doctor about Minactra, recommended by the CDC for 11 to 18 year olds. A lot can happen in a day. Today's the day to help prevent it. When did you get smart about your digestive health? When I found something delicious for my digestion. When my stomach couldn't wait 14 days for slow-acting yogurt. When I chose a safe, more natural solution for my family. Set up pills and powders. Plum Smart is clinically proven to help regulate your digestion with a unique blend of prebiotic fiber, magnesium, and potassium. I feel better already. Get the clinically proven solution for digestive health. Plum Smart and Plum Smart Light from SunSweet. This is Food Network in the Kitchen. I have a little spin on refried beans. I'm dicing the second of two onions. The way that I like to chop an onion, leave the root end on to hold the onion together. And then I just chop. Everything falls, nice little dice. I have a cast iron Dutch oven here. I'm gonna sprinkle about two tablespoons of olive oil. Refried beans have a lot of fat in them, and my mom is pretty health conscious,
So I have a little twist on refried beans. I want to sacrifice the fat, but I don't want to sacrifice the flavor. So I have some garlic, and then smash the garlic and give it a rough chop. The benefit of the olive oil is that it's going to add a fruity note to the refried beans. I want to pack as much flavor as I can into these beans. That's going at a nice rate. Let me just make that a little higher. I want to draw out the caramel and the sugar out of that onion. That's another layer of flavor that's going to add to those beans. I'm going to set some stock to heat. Another layer of flavor for those beans. We have our onions and garlic going. We have our stock going. I have some pretty black beans. Add our beans. The trick to beans is you don't want to salt them in the beginning. They look like little black jewels. It's so pretty. I'm going to throw some bay leaf in there. Flavor, flavor, flavor. And in two hours, cooking them in liquid is going to give me perfect, perfect beans. And then those beans are going to drink the broth little by little. I'm going to take out my chorizo. And what I have here is a smoked ham hock. This is a beautiful ham hock. And we're just going to tuck that in there, and it's going to lend a nice smoky sweetness to the beans. We want the flavor. We just don't want the fat. And my favorite herb of all time, cilantro. This is how gorgeous is this? Oh, it smells like heaven. And I'm just going to drop the whole thing right in there. We're going to cook the cilantro in there. We're going to add a little more of that stock. We want to keep the beans covered. And I want to wrap the rest of my cilantro up in my damp paper towels to keep it nice and fresh. If you don't show it some love, it's not going to love you back. So I'm adding the cilantro whole like this. And when we puree these beans, it's going to have onion and garlic, the smoke from the hock, and the freshness of the cilantro. OK, next, our chorizo. The difference between this and the chorizo that we're used to Spanish chorizo is dried, cured chorizo. Mexican chorizo is raw. We're going to have to cook this. We're going to take the chorizo out of the casing, just like that. And if you can't find Mexican chorizo sausage that doesn't have any fennel in it, that's going to work OK. a pan over here and I'm gonna set that on a low heat and I'm gonna add just a little drop of olive oil to my pan I don't want my chorizo to stick just enough olive oil to kiss the bottom of the pan and then we're gonna add our chorizo and I'm gonna break it up with a little fork you see how isn't that pretty that's the uh, achote that's used to flavor the uh, Mexican chorizo. Love that stuff. I'm just going to break up the chorizo. I don't want to fry the big pieces. I want it to separate. Just help it along with the fork. Any big clumps, just pull them apart. I'm doing this over medium-high heat. I want to keep that sizzle going. I want it to render the fat. And it takes a little time. Nice, loose pieces. Can you see how, how nice and loose that is? This way, every time you pick up a piece of the egg, you'll pick up some, some of the chorizo. Let's turn that off. And I have a paper towel covered plate here. I'm going to get rid of as much of that fat from the chorizo as I can. So I'm just going to set the chorizo to drain on the paper towel. Oh, God, that just smells so good. I could eat it right out of the pan. I'm going to do yet another element. I'm going to prep a couple of avocados. Opening the avocados, give it a little twist. And with a spoon, ease it away from the skin, scoop it right out. I want to give the avocado a pretty little acid note. And the acid of the lime keeps the avocado nice and bright. It's like an avocado cocktail. Next, we're going to check our beans. 
These beans are coming along beautifully. There's still enough liquid in them. Refried beans are pretty humble fare, but you want to make it interesting enough so that you want to go back for a second, and a third, and a fourth bite. Wait till you see how simple it is to turn those perfectly cooked beans into my unfried refried beans. Then, a simple and flavorful tomato sauce that we'll use to top our eggs a la paloma. What will bring a seasoned chef to tears? Shocking ingredients. Chefs, open your baskets. In a race against time. You have 30 minutes to create a three-course gourmet meal. What am I gonna do? Judgment is served after each course. You will not move on to the next round. Four new chefs compete each week. No second thoughts, no turning back. Only one is left standing. Who makes the cut and who will be chopped? All new episode Tuesday night at 10, 9 central on Food Network. Do you want to peel and slice vegetables in an instant? Then you need the Titan Peeler, the incredible multi-purpose tool that makes peeling and slicing a breeze. The secret is Titan's dual action blades that peel and slice on an upward motion as well as downwards, making it twice. So that you want to go back for a second and a third and a fourth bite. Wait till you see how simple it is to turn those perfectly cooked beans into my unfried refried beans. Then a simple and flavorful tomato sauce that we'll use to top our eggs a la paloma. What will bring a seasoned chef to tears? Shocking ingredients. Chefs, open your baskets. In a race against time. You have 30 minutes to create a three-course gourmet meal. What am I gonna do? Judgment is served after each course. You will not move on to the next round. Four new chefs compete each week. No second thoughts, no turning back. Only one is left standing. Who makes the cut and who will be chopped? All new episode Tuesday night at 10, 9 central on Food Network. Do you want to peel and slice vegetables in an instant? Then you need the Titan Peeler, the incredible multi-purpose tool that makes peeling and slicing a breeze. The secret is Titan's dual action blades that peel and slice on an upward motion as well as downwards, making it twice. Peeler is made from 100% stainless steel, so it will never break or dull. That's why we're offering a lifetime warranty on the blades. If you don't love the Titan Peeler as much as we do, simply return it within 60 days for a full refund. You get the entire Titan Peeler system, a $30 value you for only $14.99. But wait, if you order now, we'll double your offer. You'll get a second Titan Peeler system free. Just pay shipping and handling. That's two Titan Peelers, two Julienne cutters, two slicing boards, and two garnishing guides. A $60 value all for only $14.99. Order now. To order your Titan Peeler, call 1-800-811-1263. Call right now and we'll double the offer. Just pay shipping and handling. Call 1-800-811-1263 or visit us online at titanpeeler.com. The Institute of Culinary Education has been an eye-opener for me. The instructors at the Institute are amazing. It's five minutes away from Union Square. You have the farmer's market. You're surrounded by so many restaurants. I'd spent a lot of time looking at other schools. And this was oh, even better. Let's see. This is exactly what I'm looking for in the bean. Nice and creamy on the inside. Delicious. They're absolutely perfect. Mmm. Packed with flavor. The texture is delicious. Amazing. Okay, let's put together that tomato sauce we talked about. I have a little olive oil on medium heat. I have my onion that I chopped before. There we go. And I want a clove of garlic. And of course, this tomato sauce is what gilds the lily on the uh, eggs a la paloma. And we have a little smash and a little dice. When I was a little girl, my grandmother would give me garlic, but of course she didn't give me a knife. She'd put it in the pilon, the mortar and pestle, and I would be able to smash up the garlic for her for her recipes like that. And I'm lowering the heat. Just want to make sure that doesn't get away from me. I have some Spanish complement the eggs just beautifully. So we're going to leave this on a low simmer. And in the meantime, let's move our beans over here. And we're going to put them right in this processor. I'm not going to sacrifice any of the flavor. Let's get rid of our bay leaf. That we don't want going in there. That cilantro that we cooked in there is going right in there with those beans. Mmm. You get it all. Onion, garlic, the fragrance of the bay leaf, the smoke of the ham hock. I'm going to process these beans. If it looks tight to you, add a little bit of the cooking liquid. It's 
starting to look like black bean soup already. Now I'm gonna save the rest of those beans for exactly that. And they are used all over Latin America. And my beautiful avocado. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with chorizo. So we want a layer of chorizo. We have our avocado out, and I'm gonna serve a couple of slices of avocado. I have to make four more of those, and then I'm gonna start frying some eggs. Some simple fried eggs turns into a fantastic casserole topped with a zesty tomato sauce and bubbling brown cheese. Served with churros and unfried refried beans, a perfect brunch. Man Cave knows every man deserves a killer castle. Football pro Tony the Goose Siragusa and licensed contractor Jason Cameron need a man cave. are here to help guys like you. Man Caves, Tuesday night at 9 on DIY Network. Mid after Gay, veggies, you're cool. Mayo, corn dogs, you are so out of here. Because ah! I'm reworking the menu, keeping her healthy and you on your toes. The complete balanced nutrition of Ensure with 24 vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, and omega 3s. I see you, cupcake. Uh -oh. Ensure, nutrition in charge. Let's say you spent $100 a week at the supermarket on these kinds of items. If you bought these kinds of groceries at Walmart, you could save on average over $700 a year. What would you do with all that money? Save money, live better. Walmart. Ina's bringing it back to basics. Make it really easy, make it fun. With mouth-watering recipes everyone can make. We're putting on quite a show. Barefoot Contessa, the new season premieres today at 1.30, 12.30 Central on Food Network. Throughout your day, you can't wait to get home. But once you're there... Oaxacan string cheese, Mexican string cheese. But if you can't find that kind of cheese in your market, get a bag of pre-shredded mozzarella cheese. And what we want is a nice brown bubbly top when we put these in the broiler. I'm watching those eggs. And here we go. I'm doing it on the large grate because I want nice big slivers of it. Eggs, cheese sauce, chorizo, heaven. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How pretty does that look? The yolks are perfectly set. Nice and bright yellow. Let's turn the heat off. Bring this over here. And I have that beautiful light tomato sauce that I made before. Let's try it. It's so good. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah, that's what I'm talking about. The yolks are still nice and golden. The cazuelas are keeping the chorizo nice and hot on the bottom. Oh. We go. Oh, wow. Once a papa. What is it? These are eggs a la paloma. They have all your favorite things. Well, the birthday girl gets one, right? Wow. Go ahead, Mom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> They're so delicious. Cumpleaños feliz, Mommy. Happy birthday. Buen provecho, Mommy. Happy birthday. Don't spend your next party stressing out in the kitchen.